Well, Joanne, this all started digging around 1030 this morning, and it's all happened for road. And what we're told by the sheriff is that they are scraping layer by layer of the dirt here. Cadaver dogs hit on this area in four spots last week during a search. And these are dogs that only hit on human remains. They hit on four spots. And those four areas that they're searching are all within 35 yards of each other. And you're seeing video of the search right now. And there were searches done in the past here along Sober Road, all because of a map that was given to the Sheriff's Department within 30 days of Paige's disappearance. And it was a detailed map, we're told, from an anonymous tipster. The sheriff says that original investigators dug in the wrong area because the map may have been just misread in some way. He also says at the time they didn't have cadaver dogs here at the time, and they have since learned that a driveway was moved here in this area as well. We've also learned something interesting, that police actually got an encouraging tip over the weekend by a woman who said that her stepfather could be a suspect and that she says he resembles one of the sketches that was recently released by police. She told investigators that her stepfather used to live in this area back when Paige Rankowski disappeared. The sheriff tells me that they have yet to speak with that man. He lives out of state now, but they're certainly going to take a close look at that. And meantime, he also says it's a plan on being here throughout the day. He has also spoken personally with Paige's mother, and he says that he really gets the sense that uh, you know, that she's in near tears when talking to her. Just the thought of possibly finding her is obviously so emotional for her. And he asked to the investigators as well who have been trying to work on this case, trying to solve it for so many years now. Yeah, you can't imagine what a mother would feel. 21 years of uncertainty in all this. Anu, I know you'll be out there following it for us today, and we'll check in with you again on later editions of Action News. Thanks.